Hello friends, this is Misty with Gleesman Designs. Today I have three surprisingly easy Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs for you. If you haven't been here before, please hit the subscribe notification and the bell so you get notified every time I post a new upload. DIY number one is this adorable Christmas gnome. You will need a bag of rice or beans and a mop head from the Dollar Tree. I also used one of the packs of Dollar Tree socks and took one of the socks and just placed it right over the bag of rice. And like I said, you can use beans for this or even a sock that you have laying around the house. I like using the bags of bean and rice because they do stand straight up when you set them down. Now just take your hot glue gun and simply close the hole at the top. Now just take your Dollar Tree mop head and start pulling out all of these strands and then take these strands and start adding it to your base of your gnome and I go from the side like from one side to the other I don't necessarily do the back you could add as little or as much as you like but make sure you save a few strands for later in the video now I just take the mop head strands and I just unfray them because they just turn out so pretty when you do that the beard looks so much more fuller Go ahead and split your beard down the middle and then take those extra strands that we had and place that like right under there so that you have like a little triangle form. Then using a Dollar Tree scarf, I cut off the little frilly ends and I just took it and kind of folded it over to make the brim of the hat. Now fold your scarf down over itself in the length that you want your hat and then cut off the excess. My fabric is the same on both sides, so I didn't have to turn it inside out, but if you do have a fabric that is only one-sided, you will have to have it backwards so that when you turn the hat inside out, it will be basically right side up and you'll have the pretty part so you don't see the seam. So I traced out a triangle shape, how long I wanted my hat, and I'm just taking my hot glue gun and placing little beads of glue really, really close to the edge all the way around my hat, and then I take the hat and flip it inside out so you have a seamless little gnome hat. Since this is a Christmas gnome, what better to use for his little nose than a Christmas bulb? So I used one of these silver bulbs from this Dollar Tree pack and I just split the beard and added it right where that little triangle space was that we made don't have to do this next part but I like to add a little bit of stuffing to the hat so it sets up just a little bit but I just put the excess scarf that we cut off right inside the hat but you could use whatever you'd like now slide his hat right down over his head over his nose just a little bit and then I kind of squished that fabric down so I could take his hat and kind of have it flap over to the side tree has these cute little snowflakes and I wanted to add one to his hat so I just hot glued that on there but they do have this little hole at the top so you could hang them and I wanted to cover that so I just made a little bow with one of the mop strands and added that to the little snowflake on his hat I wanted to add a little bit more of an embellishment to his hat so I took one of the pieces off of this Dollar Tree pick and just slid that and hot glued it right into like the brim of his hat. You could leave his hair how it is but I gave it just a tad bit of a haircut because I wanted this to be a really long bearded gnome but you can cut his beard as short as you like. DIY number two is this adorable Christmas shelf. For this project I will be doing my faux stain trick and I just take a little bit of water and some acrylic paint and that is the apple barrel brown and I just mix it together just a little bit. You want it to be nice and watered down. Then I use three of these cube drawers from a Dollar Tree. I take out the drawer part and I stain just that part on the inside and outside and I do that to all three of the inner drawers. outer part of the little drawer boxes I take my white chalk paint and I just simply paint all three of those white on the inside and out. Using two of these little Dollar Tree crates I also painted those white with my white chalk paint. I had this craft paper that I loved the snowflake design on the back so I cut it down to fit into the little crates. Add these two crates together I just added some of the Dollar Tree wood glue and some hot glue and just simply pressed those together. Dollar Tree also has these little clips that are absolutely perfect for a project like this. Then using the wood glue and hot glue again I take the three little outer cubes that are white and I simply add those three together. 
Next, you'll need to put the cubes on top of the crates. So again, add some wood glue and hot glue and set those right on top in the center of the two crates. Add this little wood cutout from the Dollar Tree. They have many different shapes and of course my little daughter drew on it, but I added the craft paper to that as well just by Mod Podging it on and you could Mod Podge over this as well to seal it. I wanted to add this kind of like as a backboard on our shelf so I took two little popsicle sticks and I placed those on the back and those are not the little popsicle sticks I think they're the jumbo craft sticks or popsicle sticks whatever but yeah add wood glue and hot glue and then simply place that onto the back of your base take the three stained little drawers and turn them around and actually put them in backwards then add a little bead or a knob and you have three little drawers with our shelf you could put a cute little saying on the backboard or leave it blank however you like it i left it blank because eventually i would like to use this either in my bathroom or as a coffee bar it could be used as so many different things and done in so many ways or even for different holidays DIY number three is this adorable snowman home decor. At Dollar Tree, they have these clear Christmas bulbs that actually have a divot made into it, and I thought it would be perfect for this project. So that I took some polyurethane, you can use polyacrylic or even mop and glow for this. You'll just take a little bit, a few maybe tablespoons, add it to your bulb and swish it around, and then slowly kind of start turning it as you pour it into a cup. So therefore, it goes completely all the way around and covering that whole bulb. I made a cone with some paper and then just took some white glitter and poured a decent amount into the bulb and swished that around covering the whole bulb and then you will just pour out the excess glitter and then I took a Dollar Tree little um, candle holder I did spray paint it black then I just add some hot glue or you could also use E6000 to have a little better of a hold but I haven't had any problem with it I added that little snowman head right to the top of the candle holder and then I took this piece of scrap ribbon that I had made it into a little scarf and tied it right around his little neck Dollar Tree has these bell ornaments and I actually wanted the greenery and pine cones off of it so I took it apart and just added the greenery to our snowman and then added the pine cones as well as a few of the berries off of one of these Dollar Tree picks. adorable is a snowman ornament from the Dollar Tree and I thought oh gosh this is so perfect for this DIY and it is actually very easy to cut into it's just cardboard and like foam styrofoam inside so just make a hole big enough so that you can take the little hat and put it right on to like the ring part of our ornament where the metal piece goes. I got these snowman face stickers off of Etsy, but you could definitely get them off of Amazon or even use a paint pen or a cutting machine to put a little face onto your snowman. Here is how our little snowman turned out. I think he is so cute and I definitely think this would be something fun to do like for a Christmas craft party or even as gift for coworkers, family members. There's just so much you could do with this on top of it being just really cute home decor. If you like faster paced DIY videos, you could add me on TikTok. I have like almost 100 videos on there of really cute DIYs that have well over 100 thousand views so i truly hope you guys enjoyed all these diy videos and i hope i see you over on tiktok as well as here on youtube don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our cute diys